This is the Tracker Level Light Oval Bed System and it is my bed of choice. So let's have a quick look at some of the features that this bed has to offer. So this is the V2 Level Light Oval Sleep System and it's my bed of choice. Now I've been in this particular bed for nearly two years now and before that I was in the V1 version. I love the oval bed. There's something about when I very first saw one, the oval design was something that made me a bit like, whoa. For one, it looks like it's shorter than a standard bed, but it's not, it's exactly the same length. But the tapered at the front, at the toe end and at the head end, what this enables the bed to do is fit much further back in a bivvy. Now there's a great video that we did on the Tracker YouTube channel that actually shows us putting this bed inside a Nash Titan, we put one inside a Fox Frontier, and we put one inside a Tempest. And you can see, even in other manufacturers' bivvies, that this bed gives you loads of extra space. And for that reason, it has been my bed of choice for the last four or five years from the very first oval system. The bed itself is completely flat, which means I always get a really comfortable, good night's sleep in it. One of the things it has got, which is really useful, is underneath you've got a fully adjustable lumbar support. And that means all you do simply is you tension up the elastics that join the two mesh fabrics that are holding, that are held to the frame of the bed, and you can make the bed a lot more firmer if you desire. For me personally, I like it a little bit softer, and then I can sort of sink into it, it'd be really comfy. This bed comes equipped with six legs. Now you have one at the head end, one at the foot end and then four in the middle. And what this means is you've got a nice even distribution of weight when you sit on it. But the other thing as well is it means if you've got someone else coming into your bivvy, maybe for a coffee, they can sit on the end of the bed and because of the extra legs, you're not gonna run any risk of bending the frame. And on the subject to legs, they all feature our patented single button press adjusting leg system with rotational mud feet, which means wherever you are, you just simply press the button, the leg can drop out, which means it's dead easy to level. But not only that, because the feet rotate, it means if you're on uneven ground, you get a nice level bed. One of the nice things about this being a sleep system means that you never have to re remove the sleeping bag off it to pack it away. And this is down to the fact we added something called what we call double hinge technology, which is basically a hinge underneath here that has two pivoting points instead of one, meaning you never have to take the sleeping bag off, whether it's in three season or in five season. But it also means it's super quick to pack up at the end of the session. But now we need to have a look, little look at the sleeping bag. The sleeping bag itself is attached to the bed using Velcro wings, which means it is removable should you need to, like mine needs at the minute, have to put it in the washing machine. The material on the outside of the sleeping bag is a hydrophobic honeycomb material. What this means is it's water resistant. So should you get muddy boots on it, like you can see I've got on mine, I'm able to take this back just with a damp cloth, I'm able to clean it nice and easily. The sleeping bag itself is a 365 sleeping bag, meaning that it, you can use it 365 days a year. It's either three season or five season, and that is due to the fact that it's got a removable inner layer, which is also reversible, which is nice. Because me personally, I like the smooth polyester on me. I don't like the fleecy side of things. It makes me, I just find it a little bit uncomfortable. But for those of you who do like the fleecy one, you are able to reverse it, turn it over and zip it into the bag, which means you can have a nice fleece layer when it's on the five season. The other thing that the sleeping bag has is it has 10 mil crash ships. Now the crash ships are really useful. So you're laying in bed at night, you're fast asleep and your alarm tanks off and you need to get out of the bed quickly. You can just burst out real quick, the zips will undo themselves and you're able to get out of the bag. There is nothing worse than messing about trying to get all locked in your bag, not being able to get out, listening to the fish take more and more line and starting to panic. Around those zips, there's also a baffle and what this baffle does means that you get no draft come through the zips. Zips obviously do allow a small amount of air in, but with the flaps that cover the zips and also the baffles on the inside, it means your bag stays nice and warm. So let's have a quick look at the dimensions of this bed. Now it's 210 centimetres long, which is pretty much an industry standard for the length of the bed. But in the middle of the bed, it's actually wider than most beds at 90 centimetres, because that's where you want your space when you're laying on your side and you're all curled up. Whereas at the ends where we've tapered it in, you don't need as much space because you've just got your head and you've just got your feet. Now, like I said earlier, this bed is available in three different styles. We've got the standard bed, which is the one that I use. Now I'm, I'm six foot tall and I weigh just over 100 
100 kilos. We do have another option in the same size as the standard, which is the tall. Now, being six foot tall, I can sit on this bed and my legs are pretty much at a 90 degree angle, which means it's nice and comfortable for getting up and down. However, if you are much taller and you want that little bit of extra height, then take a look at the V2 Level Light Oval Tall, because this means that the bed is a lot higher off the ground. You can also use it for storing more stuff underneath, but if you are taller, it just makes life a little bit easier when getting up. The last one in the range is the Oval Wide. Now, the wide bed is actually 213 centimeters long, so it's slightly longer than the standard, but in the middle, it's nearly one, it is one meter width. So that's a hundred centimeters, meaning you've got loads more space if you're one of those bigger guys. So let's quickly talk about prices. The price of a, a suggested selling price for the Level Light Oval Standard is $499.99. If you're looking at the wide, it's $509.99 and the tall comes in at $519.99. So if you're in the market and looking for a brand new bed and you want a little bit more information on the Level Light Oval bed systems, check out trackerproducts.com. There's plenty of videos on YouTube about this. We've done lots of things, including the comparison where we showed this standard bed going in a Titan, a Frontier and a Tempest.